Precious one, I want to read a scripture to you from John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 5. John chapter 15 from verse 1 to 5. I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that buried not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that buried fruit, he purged it, that he may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. This, these are words that are coming from the Master Jesus himself. And I always tell people that, you see, there are a lot of um, religious leaders that have, that, that have lived, but none of them were able to make such emphatic statements as Jesus made. For instance, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I am the essence of being. If a man could make this statement, then he knows what he's talking about. And he says that I am the true vine. So that means that there are some vines that are false. So what vine, what kind of vine are you associated with? any vine that is not christ is a false vine if you have given yourself to anybody apart from christ jesus then you are leaning or you are you have associated yourself with a false vine and he says my father is the husband man he said my father is the gardener my father is the dresser he is the one who dresses if you want somebody who will dress you and make your life beautiful come to god Verse 2 says that every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. He said, Jesus said, every branch that is associated with me, who bear, which bears no fruit, the Father will take away. So then it means that the onus lies upon every branch to bear fruit. So bearing fruit is not automatic. You can be associated with the vine and yet be unfruitful. And so he says that every branch in me that does not bear fruit. So it means that we are in a class. We are in an army everybody must do his part and bear fruit otherwise god will take you away and so i ask you what kind of fruit are you bearing are you the unfruitful branch or the fruitful one when you are in church what do you do when you see the need of others and you can help what do you do do you ignore what are you doing what what are your contributions in the kingdom of god you have to become fruitful otherwise the father will cut you away and every branch that buried fruit he purged it so if you begin to bear fruit then the father will begin to purge you what does it mean to purge he will remove all the excesses from your life the little sins the little habits that you are unable to control god begins to come in with his word and then he polishes you and makes your life beautiful so that you will be able to bear more fruits so the responsibility is upon you to start bearing fruit then the father comes in as you start bearing fruit you start doing things for god doing things for humanity the father steps in so that you begin to bear more fruit so the things that you used to do yesterday now you begin to do more and more and more why because the father has stepped in and is dressing you and is in says now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So the word of God is a cleanser. You see, the word of God will cleanse you and make your life beautiful. Then it comes to verse 4. It says, abide in me and I in you. Jesus said, abide in me and I in you. So abiding in Christ is not enough. You also need Christ to abide in you. So we can have people who are abiding in Christ and yet Christ is not in them. Somebody say, when you go to school, don't just pass through the school. Let the school pass through you. So it is one thing passing through the school and another, the school passing through you. It is one thing abiding in Christ and another Christ abiding in you. So you could be in church and Christ is not in you. Many people are in church and yet they will go to hell because they, Christ is not abiding in them. They have not accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and yet they are in church. So he says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, you cannot do it alone. Can't you see? Can't you see that you have tried and tried and tried and it is not working? 
why because you are not abiding in the vine he said except ye abide in me you cannot do anything leave that marriage to god let god step into that business let god step into that job let god step in your life give god a chance he said except ye abide in me you can't do anything you will try the strength of man will only take you a little far but you can't continue because your strength is limited he said except ye abide in me he can't do anything then the verse 5 says that i am the vine ye are the branches so jesus is now saying he's, he's explaining he said i am the vine the vine that i'm talking about that you should abide you see and then be paced so even those who are bearing fruit need to be paced the fact that you are bearing fruit today doesn't mean that you have arrived because it says he who bears fruit shall be paced of my father so that you will bear more fruit so you are working in church yes it is good but then you need to be paced of god you need to give yourself to the word of god you need to give yourself to prayer and then god comes in to prunes you and then he makes your life beautiful and you begin to bear more fruit and jesus christ is saying that i am the vine ye are the branches so you and i we are the branches and you know one thing that the branches share the same life that the vine shares the same life that runs through the branch that runs through the vine runs through the branches and another thing you see the beauty of the vine is not in the stem of the vine but it is in the branches of the vine it is the branches of a tree that gives birth to the flowers and the fruits where men see and appreciate and so the beauty of christ is you and i that's why bible says that we were born for his glory in isaiah chapter 9 from from verse 6 he says that unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor everlasting god the prince of peace he said i like the part. He said the government shall be upon his shoulders he says that authority shall be given to the shoulders that is the branch and so he says he that abided in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit so you see it started from bare fruit let the father prune you to bear more fruit and then if you continue to abide in me and i in you then you will bear much fruit so bible says that the steps of the righteous is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day so how my life is shining today will be different from how my life will shine tomorrow because as i continue to abide in christ as i continue to do the things of god give myself to god and his work my life begins to shine i begin to bear more fruit and as i continue to abide i begin to bear much fruit as you continue to abide in christ may the lord help you to bear more fruit and as you bear more fruit and you continue to abide may you begin to bear much fruit give your life to christ if you have not accepted him as your personal lord and savior because apart from him you can do nothing severed from him separated from him ye cannot excel